All right, this time we're gonna build a hoist and polish that motor. All right, so anybody that's unfamiliar with the Honda-matics, well, like I am, this is the first time I've been in one myself. But uh, normally on this side, this is where the clutch would live. Uh, they put a torque converter on it and set it up to a two-speed transmission instead of the normal five. And uh, you know, I thought it'd be kind of neat. Let's give everybody a little look at what's under the cover. And I've got, and which on the cover we have, yeah, let's see, get the frame here. Just rides on a bearing, and then there's a retention piece. So let me get this on first. Come on. Coming on, it's going on about as easy as it came on. Okay, I got it wiggled on. It's a little bit of an alignment issue. Because uh, most of these covers I bought polished. I found them online for a good price. I couldn't beat it. There's no way to do all that work for that kind of money myself. So, uh, I yeah, let's see, yeah, you can see it here. Yeah, these side covers here, I did these myself. Might have somebody else get into the fins for me. I don't really, I'm not a professional polisher. I look pretty good. A uh, couple of the other little small pieces I did myself off the original parts here. But, uh, all right, back to this, see we got a little bearing retainer ring. Locks in. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go clean this part up. I'll be back. And then there's another on the end of the cover. It's basically a little pilot bushing to catch you into the torque converter. Keeps everybody in place and where they're supposed to be. Let me get this lined up. Yeah. All right, last last piece to all these covers here on the torque converter side is this nice little, I don't know, it's more of a beauty shield. It needs some correction. It's dented. Could use probably a little extra polishing or some rechrome. But they're hard to find. It was the one I found. I got it while I could. It was in way better shape than the one that I took off. Let's see, my original one is 
was uh, was quite mangled, and this is after I did a bunch of beating on it to make it kind of straight. So, hoping I can find a, a better one eventually, but till then this one will do. So, back her up, Whew. and there she is in all of her shiny glory. Let's see here. Um, from front, the oil filter, I was going to start polishing, cleaning up, but it has got a bunch of broken fins. So I'm going to get a different one. Uh, I think I can get one that's already polished for about the same price as a good used one. So I'm going to do that. And we have these other, two, these other two covers in the valve cover that I bought that were polished already. Uh, I buffed up this other. These were completely covered in powder coat when I got them. And, oh, well, I forgot to put in my chain guard piece. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. All right. So chain guard piece was my original one that we cleaned up and then I went ahead and had to clean up all the original screw heads and filler cap uh, and we had the original my tack drive plug so pretty happy this looks way better it's gonna look really nice I can't wait to get it back in the frame and get this thing together so, with all the other polishing I did on this, it, it came down to it. I just, this was how the intakes came. These are the Cycle X ones I bought. And uh, the came cast, I didn't want to spring for polishing when I bought them because it was like an extra hundred bucks or so. And it was already kind of a pricey, pricey item. Uh, so, I decided that I would just go ahead and polish them up. You see, it makes a, a big difference. I'll be getting the other one done. I <clears throat> might get some video on that. So, it was the right choice. This thing's looking good, and I am happy.
All right, so there she is, all installed. I ended up having to take the other one off because it didn't look as good, so. Here we are, shiny intakes, all our polishing's pretty much done. Oh, and there she hangs on her lift.